I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com, and this is the NS Design Wave Electric Violin. I'm gonna walk you through some of the key features and play it for you some more so you can hear what it sounds like. So I'll start very broadly and then get more specific. The NS Wave is a very cool, very unique and innovative design, as I'm sure you can see. It is a completely electric violin, so that means, yes, you can play it acoustically. You won't hear very much. Um, and so you really need an amplifier to really get the most benefit out of it. There is also a four string and a five string option. I have the five string option right now. To get things started, since there isn't a scroll or pegs, you string the violin by threading the string through the scroll area and inserting it into the fine tuner clamp. It's actually a very simple system to insert the string into the fine tuner mechanism, which grabs it and tightens it or loosens it as traditional fine tuners do. On the underside, you will have to trim the excess string length unless you just don't want to. On the back is where we have our standard quarter inch jack for going into an amplifier or pedal board system. So you do have to use the NS Design chin rest and shoulder rest here. You can't really swap them out for a third party shoulder rest or anything because it's a very unique design. What you do is you insert the little post here and there are two knobs that you can tighten things up. There's lots of customization options here. You can change the angle here, you can change the angle here. What I like to do is just leave it kind of loose and then you can virtually have, have find any playing position that you really want. Um, and then once you find somewhere that you like it, yeah, I like it a little bit taller, so you can tighten it up with just little thumb screws right here. There are Allen wrench options in here, so you can tighten it up if the thumb screws aren't tightening all the way. Once you find a height and angle that you like, if the shoulder rest feet are digging into your chest too much, you can simply just bend this material. It's a lot like the Bon Musica uh, in that regards to find something just a little more comfortable. So there's lots of customization options. The position of the chin rest doesn't really bother me because to me it feels like a traditional chin rest or like a, an acoustic violin, but this is what people started raging about on the internet. And so since then, uh, NS Design does make a chin rest that is adjustable on two different axes, um, similarly to the axes, similarly to the shoulder rest. Uh, so that is also available subject to availability and probably at an additional cost, but that is something else you can get if it feels uncomfortable. So as I mentioned, there's a volume knob and a tone knob to demonstrate them. If I start with the tone knob all the way down, you'll see it really just affects the high ends mostly. <laughs> If I turn it all the way forward, you'll see it basically just affects the high end stuff. So it's very subtle, it doesn't make a huge difference, and so I, I don't think you'll basically mess with that too much. So it's a very beautiful sounding violin. I should mention that was just going straight into the amp. And yes, the amp does have just a little bit of reverb on it, but there's no other effects or editing or preamps or anything like that going on. Uh, but that brings up a good point is that the preamp or the pickup, excuse me, on the violin is under here under the bridge and it's a passive pickup. And so what that means is there's, there's no preamp back in here that you don't have to unscrew anything and change a nine volt battery or charge a super capacitor or flux capacitor, whatever they call it. But all that to say is that your amplifier will need a preamp. And if you have a music amp, like a guitar amp or bass amp or piano amp, chances are like 99% of the time you're gonna be fine. But if you do plug it into like a home theater amplifier or like a stereo amplifier or something, 
it might work, it might not work. It gets very technical and we're a little bit out of our element. So if you call me up and say, I have the Kenwoods 7000 BRT, uh, is that gonna work? Why doesn't it work? I, I, I don't know. So I'll say good luck to you. Even with the unique, innovative and you know minimalist design, it still feels much like a traditional violin. I like that they kept the bout here so that you know where you are when you're shifting and then so your hand doesn't just like fly and hit yourself in the face. And I don't mind the chin rest and shoulders. I know that's a contentious issue for some people, but for me it feels pretty normal. You can figure out and you can adjust it to what it's comfortable. One thing that is a little funny is that the first time I was done playing and kind of went to put in rest position, I was holding it like this and I almost dropped it because it almost slid right out of my hands because you don't have the pegs uh, you know, as that extra safeguard. So that's the only thing I would say be careful about is when you're, when you're uh, just holding it, you have to be just a little more conscientious about hanging onto it and not letting it drop. So to learn more about the NS Wave 4 or Wave 5, you can click right up here to purchase it from fiddlershop.com. You can learn more about our shop by watching the video down here. It's very funny. And we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you at fiddlershop.com.